for joining us. If you want to kick us off with a quick opening statement, we'll get into questions. Okay, well, it's obviously been a long day at the ballpark for uh, our guys. Uh, this afternoon was a tremendous victory behind A.J. Labus. He did such a wonderful job. He was able to, for the most part, save our bullpen and allowed us to be able to have Fontenot uh, rested and healthy to be able to go the last two innings for us. And that was that was critical, obviously. Uh, he ended up uh, having to throw, I think, 37 pitches and having him rested and, and available was was critical. The other the other thing that was was awesome uh, was Javen Coleman. It, it played out just like we had hoped. You know, Vitmeyer gave us that first inning, got a big strikeout to end in the first inning. I think it was a strikeout to get Zavala with the runner in scoring. Or no, Zavala doubled, I think. I forget who he we got out, but he, he got with two outs. He got the the batter, the runner in scoring position, and gave us a shutout inning. And then the plan was to bring Javen Coleman in, and and uh, I got man, I couldn't even have dreamt that he was going to do as as great as he did. Then I got a little greedy there at the end, and he was throwing the ball so well. I knew he was tired, but I was hoping he could sneak us through the eighth inning to save the pitches on Fontenot. But you know, he was gassed, and he uh, walked the first batter. Fondo came in and, and did a tremendous job. Um, you know, I wish we would have turned the double play and, and made a play there in the ninth inning. Would have saved a few pitches on his arm. Uh, but at the end of the day, he ended up getting the final outs for us. And, and we had a tremendous victory against an outstanding ball club in Oregon. So it sets the stage for a one game winner take all tomorrow night. And just can't tell you how proud I am of our guys. You know, it's three straight elimination games that we've won. And, uh, you know, we're we're uh, you know we're just not giving up. I told the guys after the game, you guys just won't let me retire. You keep making me work, so I'm happy to do it though. All right, open up for questions. We'll start with Wilson Alexander. Yeah, Paul. Just following up on Jaden. I mean, I've, Javen. Excuse me. Obviously, early in the season there was a while he didn't pitch, and then he started. I mean, it's just it's been building this kind of performance for a while. Uh, the more he's developed over the course of the season. But you remember at the beginning of the year how tremendous he was against Louisiana Tech. And then, you know, for some reason, it, you know, we just he, he had a couple midweek starts. It didn't go well. And then, uh, you know, he just, you know, kind of fell out of the, the plans there for a while. And then he threw so well in a midweek game. And, and I told him when he when he threw so well in that midweek game that we were getting ready to go to Ole Miss. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'm just so happy the way you threw and so proud of you. And you just got to go out there and let it rip like you did. And I know you're going to help us this weekend. And, and then he pitched tremendous for us on that in that Sunday game against Ole Miss. And ever since then, he's he's just been a guy that we can really count on. He, he's showing great poise out there. He, he's done a phenomenal job for us. And um, tonight was was the best. I mean, he, he was just amazing out there against a very good hitting team and and uh, looked like a seasoned veteran. Uh, he, he's not a freshman anymore, that's for sure. Glenn West. Yeah, hey, Paul. I mean, you know, it seems like every postseason you guys have a little bit of magic just come out of nowhere. And I think, you know, there's no better example of that than Gavin Dugas getting a kind of, you know, triple and then able to extend it into an inside the park home run. I mean, just how big of a tone setter was that for you guys tonight to really kind of just, I guess, create some separation and uh, feel good about yourselves the rest of the game? Well, I was just so happy for Gavin tonight. You know, he um, played so tremendously at Texas A&M that last weekend of the regular season even after the collision he had with the sore ribs. I mean, his body was so banged up at A&M and he just courageously kept playing through it and, and kept doing outstanding. And then we, you know, the Tuesday against Georgia, he, he wasn't feeling great and he just kind of got into a little bit of a rut and wasn't swinging as, as well as he was capable of. And then we didn't play for a long time. And, and his first couple of games out here, he really wasn't swinging the bat great. And then, uh, you know, tonight, even his first at bat, he didn't swing the bat well. He, he fouled off a fastball and a good hitter's count and then took a couple called strikes. And he just wasn't himself, you know. And and, um, and then finally, he just kind of got it going. And he, I think he just got a little upset with himself and started to, to swing the bat aggressively. And 
and you see what he's capable of doing when he when he gets locked in and he's and he's and he's up there with his confidence and letting it rip. I mean, he was the difference. I mean, he hit the inside the park home run, but before that, he hit that long home run that that gave us the lead, and that that really loosened up our team. The, obviously, the inside the park home run was huge, but then he smoked the double down the left field corner. Unfortunately, we weren't able to finish the rally off. But yeah, we knew. I, I didn't feel like we had a chance to win this tournament unless Gavin Dugas showed up and and did what he's capable of doing. And tonight, again, we wouldn't have won without what he did. He he and Coleman were the heroes tonight, without a doubt. Zach Nunez. Uh, first off, did Gavin see the the stop sign rounding third, or did he just blow by it and said, "I'm going"? I don't think there was a stop sign. I think Nolan sent him. If I'm not mistaken, um, you know, we got a chuckle out of it in the dugout because uh, I think Nolan was a tad indecisive, but I think he was sending them and, and then maybe at the last second thought better of it. But I think Gavin was already past him when he threw up the stop sign. So, you know, Gavin was trucking and, you know, we put the pressure on, on their player and the player threw the ball a little bit high at home plate. And I don't know if Gavin's ever hit an inside the park home run before or not, but he was motoring, you know, he, uh, he's got good wheels and he was smelling that home run and he got it for us. James Crepia. Not too many teams have kept their big three, not just in check, but really befuddled. Well, uh, I mean, they, you have Jovan Zavala and Matthews from Coleman go one for eight with five strikeouts and they go one for 11 on the night with six. Yeah. The sequence in the third inning, with the infield in at a 1-1 game to get Zavala. And then in the sixth, to get Zavala on a, I mean, he's the Pac-12 player of the year and you got him striking out on a ball in the dirt in the opposing batter's box. And to go from 3-0 on Matthews to a pop out on a full count. Take me through those two sequences of just what it meant for you young pitcher to be able to pull that off against, like I say, this, these are the best hitters in the league. Yeah, I know. I've watched them. <laughs> They're scary. And, and um, this young kid, for us has just been growing up, uh, you know, with each passing outing. And, uh, you know, I preach to him all the time, not just him, but all of our pitchers, that the great ones have a, have that innate ability to raise their game to a different level at a critical time in the game. And those were obviously the most critical times in the game right there, the, those, two, those situations you just described. And, uh, you know, is it poor clutch hitting or is it just great clutch pitching? And that's always this, you know, the million dollar question at the end of the day. But, you know, from my vantage point, it was just great pitches that he made, you know, maybe from somebody else's on the other side, they just didn't come through in the clutch, you know, from a hitting standpoint. But I just think Javen made some really great pitches there and when we needed him the bet the most. And, you know, tonight was was our night, you know, and those were the critical moments of the ball game for us on defense. And when we were able to get their best hitters out in critical situations. Wilson Alexander. Paul, looking ahead to tomorrow, do you, I mean, because of the performances of AJ and Javen, how, does it seem, it seems like you'll have a good bit of your bullpen left. Uh, just what do y'all have left out there? How do you feel about, I guess, what you, what's available tomorrow? Yeah, we, we've got guys available. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to piece it together. And, and uh, somebody's going to have to step up and be the hero for us tomorrow night if we're going to have a chance to win. Um, yeah, I, I haven't really thought much about it yet, to be honest with you, Wilson. I'm I'm going to have to probably sleep on this one and figure out what we're going to do. But it's going to have to be some some mixing and matching and piece it together. Uh, you know, we're pretty, you know, because of the outstanding starting pitching performances that we've had, though, it's it's allowed us and Javen doing such a great job tonight. You know, it's it saved us. You know, we we're not on fumes in our bullpen. We've got some guys available. So I think we get, we have a chance to go out there and, and pitch competitively tomorrow night. And, you know, if we can, you know, be, be competitive on offense as well, I don't know who Oregon will throw, but, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's got the makings of a great ball game for tomorrow night. Definitely must see TV. Ryan Holler. Coach, what do you, uh, what do you say to your closer in the ninth with the crowd rocking and, and no one warming up in the bullpen? <laughs> well, I just went out there and told him how much I believed in him and that I knew he had it in him to do it. And I just wanted to give him a chance to, to, to catch his breath. 
um, he's been in that situation a lot of times. And I just wanted to told him how much I, I believed in him and I loved him and appreciated everything he's done for our program and for me and my career. And there was nobody else I wanted on the mound, but him in that situation. And just to take a deep breath and let's go get him. And, and, uh, he responded. He was he was very cool out there, and and uh, he made some big pitches, and thank goodness he did. Hey, coach, I think that's all we have for you. Thank